video. Hubba 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 hubba! Alright guys, something magical and wonderful happened today. Kinda normally happens on a Tuesday, but for whatever reason, JX kinda had a C-section kind of uh, early, and they kinda gave birth to the Easter egg! <laughs> yes! The Easter uh, event is here. The gigantic egg that basically you shit out of your ass and you kind of do on RuneScape, if that makes any sense, which it really doesn't, but still. The Easter egg hunt has begun on RuneScape. To begin this, you have to go to Varrock Center, which we are here. And then once you're in Varrock Center, you will begin your wonderful journey. Now, this video is going to be a guide and walkthrough in achieving some magical and wonderful shit on RuneScape. Uh, so it's basically going to be me commentating over some clips that I recorded from me doing the uh, Easter egg little event little thingamajiggy. Not to mention, some changes have happened to RuneScape. Firstly, if you look on the bottom here, this empty slot has been filled with the uh, titty in my bum bum wheel of fortune. Ho 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 ho! So now, basically, you can play the game, you can buy spins. You can basically get free shit on RuneScape for kind of really uh, doing uh, absolutely nothing. So anyways, uh, let's begin the guide portion. Alrighty, the first thing you want to do to begin the happy and wonderful Easter event is grab a danza of running around collecting some uh, Easter eggs, or it's kind of like an Easter hunt, rather. First thing you want to do is teleport to Brock Square. Uh, when you have done that, you will probably see a mosh for the people. No, this is not a fucking Slipknot concert. This is just RuneScape. <laughs> there are many goddamn hooba hooba mosh pits in RuneScape, so don't get, you know, your goddamn metal readiness banging into fucking walls, running over shit, you know, kind of like, uh, ready. But you will begin talking to this gigantic chocolate fucking dragon, and pretty much he will tell you that he is at war with the evil fucking chicken. <laughs> yes! Now, you see, on this Easter event, it's actually really, really cool because you can actually pick a side. Normally, you really can't pick fucking sides of, like, RuneScape and shit like that. You either have to be, you know, fighting for the Easter Bunny, fighting for something in general. But here, it pretty much allows you to pick the side if you want to be on the side of the chocolate dragon or the evil chicken. Me, personally, I fucking love robot chicken, so therefore I'm going to fight for the motherfucking chicken, not to mention I'm a KFC fan, goddammit. I actually had some popcorn chicken the other day because my hand is still in pain, and painkillers aren't really doing the, you know, aren't really doing the thing. The only thing that really does it is to some mashed potatoes, gravy, popcorn chicken, corn on the cob, and fucking orange soda, all coming from goddamn KFC. Mountain Dew was out, actually, so I had to go for orange soda. All right, once you pick a side, whether you want to fight for the evil chicken or you want to fight for the gigantic asshole chocolate dragon, then you basically begin your Easter egg hunt on RuneScape, which is kind of like penguins, but it's more so of a fucking hunt and shit. Now, basically the first location, um, and I'm not sure if this is the first location for everyone, but this was the first location that I got to, was basically right below Lumbridge Castle. Once you have basically talked to the evil chicken or the chocolate dragon and you basically take sides, you basically get this gigantic fucking bunginator that pretty much shoots marshmallows. It's kind of like an Easter dildo whacker, but this is more of like a bunginator. And yeah, so basically what you have to do is you have to go around RuneScape finding these Easter eggs. Kind of like doing penguins, except the fucking penguins don't move. After you find the Easter egg, you will shoot it with the bunginator. After you shoot it, a fucking little chicken pops out. You want to shoot the goddamn chicken. Once you hit the chicken with your marshmallow bunginator, it basically gives you a piece of poop. And this piece of poop is kind of like, you know, a chocolate piece of poop. Now, once you get all these pieces of kind of like poop, you can go back to the evil chicken and you basically can talk to him. Now, me personally, this clip as you're seeing on the screen, 
don't do this because it's a fucking waste of time. For whatever reason, I kind of thought that if you have three pieces, he will actually give you a reward. But it's actually more so five pieces. He'll actually, you get like a fucking little genie lamp that you can basically use on whatever you please. It is basically kind of like a free fucking G genie lamp if you think about it. So therefore, Jagex basically added a little update to the shit titty Wheel of Fortune. And they basically added kind of like Penguins number two on RuneScape. <laughs> because it, all you're really doing is going around RuneScape searching for goddamn penguins. You're shooting, you're shooting chickens with the Bunginator, the marshmallow little groovy thing. And as you see, when you get five of them, you then get a... So basically, there's 15 eggs. And every five, you get a goddamn genie lamp. And this genie lamp, you can use on whatever goddamn skill you want. Me, I plan on getting 99 Slayer through genie lamps. So therefore, I'm going to use that on fucking goddamn Slayer. But otherwise, as you see me ba basically doing it right now, you can basically go back to uh, Varrock Center. You can talk about the rewards. And he'll basically tell you about the mass you can get for uh, three pieces of uh, chocolate thingamajiggies. And basically, when you ask him about doing another Easter little search, he will basically tell you that the next one is going to be like in 19 minutes. Which... It really does fucking suck because pretty much you can't do this event. This event will take you probably about two to maybe, I'd say, three hours to do, possibly. Um, as you see, you can use it pieces of chocolate on the Chocolate Dragon. I didn't do this because I kind of forgot to do this, but I'm showing you guys this right now. Then you kind of get a little piece of shit little mask. That has really no value, but it kind of looks kind of cool. You kind of look like a goddamn minotaur thingamajiggy when you're wearing it and shit. All right, and we are back. As you guys can see, pretty much this is the little chocolate little Easter egg face mask. And this is the Bugginator. <laughs> you can shoot marshmallow, or you can just kind of shoot eggs in general, which d d let's splatter this motherfucker over here. The Easter dildo whacker has now gone mobile <laughs> yes you no longer have to whack motherfuckers you can now spray your goddamn shit on them whether you want it to be a goddamn marshmallow or you could make it a goddamn egg so basically i have to now wait probably another i'd say 10 minutes before doing the other little easter hunt and stuff but just really wanted to uh make this uh short little video for you guys um, pretty much once you have completed and once you get all 15 of these little chocolate dingamajiggies, you basically get to keep the face mask and you get to keep the goddamn uh, bunginator little shooting goddamn whacker dildo thingamajiggy. So, um, yeah. Now let's talk about what I rate this uh, Easter event little escrabadanza. Me, personally, I rate it a fucking 10 out of 10. Reason being is because out of all the bad shit that has been updated on RuneScape probably in the past, I'd say, few months, this has actually really gave me hope that there is still hope for RuneScape. Because imagine if Jagex just said, oh, no, 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 we're just going mind fuck everyone and give them another Easter Bungie, you know, chocolate factory egg hunt basically like they've been doing for the past couple years. But if you guys remember a long ass time ago, they used to do this where they used to have like an Easter egg hunt all around RuneScape. And the fucking event, the holiday event, should be all around RuneScape. It shouldn't be you going to some special place on RuneScape, getting raped by a bunch of little fucking furry animals like on South Park, and then you come back to RuneScape with a reward. It should be all around RuneScape, so basically anyone can really do it. They don't have to go to this little dark little corner and get ass raped by some fairy little fucking bunny animals. But, yeah, that's just really my opinion. But anyways, guys, if this guide has helped you, then you can thumbs it up and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know. But otherwise, I'm kind of curious to know from you guys in some nasty, dirty little comments, what do you think about this Easter egg? Little hunt, little escrabadanza event. If you guys like it, if you guys dislike it, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you motherfuckers tomorrow with a new video, and I will leave you with one closing little hooba hooba with my bunginator and my chocolate mask. 
Oh! A hooba hooba haba haba hooba hooba haba haba hooba hooba haba haba yes! The Buginator! See you guys tomorrow. Bye!